Good morning all of you. In my today's lecture I will discuss about the this is basically for the management students to read this about the environmental laws and protection acts and we know that uh, India is the first country in the world to have provision for the protection and conservation of environment in its constitution and the provision for environmental protection in the constitution were made after the UN conference on human environment held in Stockholm on 5th June 1972. Thereafter 5th June is celebrated as World Environmental Day and the provisions were made through 42nd amendment of the constitution in 1976 which are as follows. Then we will discuss uh, the salient features of these act. I will come to the uh, that part just now and uh, we will see that what are the uh, these act like. First one it is said to be Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974 and it was amended in 1988. The Water Act was enacted under the Article 3, 252 of the Constitution as the social welfare measures to prevent and control water pollution, to establish central and state boards for the prevention and control of water pollution to provide and confer powers and function to the central and state boards to restore wholesomeness of water. Functions of the central board. Now we have state boards and the central board to advise the central government on matters concerning with prevention and control of water pollution, to provide technical assistance and guidance to state boards and uh, research relating to water pollution, to plan and organize the training of persons engaged in prevention, control, uh, of water pollution, then to collect, uh, compile and publish technical and statistical data relating to water pollution, to load, lay down the standards for a stream or well waters, to plan and organize nationwide program for the prevention and control of water pollution, and to establish or recognize laboratories for the analysis of water samples uh, or any sewage samples. Function of the state sport. To advise the state government on matters relating to the prevent, uh, prevention and abatement of water pollution, to plan a comprehensive program for the prevention, control and abatement of water pollution, to collaborate with the central government in organizing uh, training programs, to evolve efficient methods for the disposal of uh, sewage and trade effluent, uh, to lay down effluent standards and to establish uh, recognized laboratories for the purpose. Then we come to this next act which is known as Wildlife Protection Act. It was in, passed in 1972 and was amended in 1991. It safeguards wildlife, animals, birds and plants. Under this act, uh, restriction and hunting and trapping of the wild animals is strictly prohibited. Protection of rare and specified plant species. List of endangered species is prepared and then they are protected. Prevention of biological diversity by setting up of national parks, bird sanctuaries and wildlife sanctuaries. Then we have control of trade and commerce in some wildlife species, wildlife products and setting guidelines for issue of license and arms. Wildlife acts, several conservation pro uh, projects for endangered species like uh, tiger project, crocodile etc. was started under this act. This act is adopted in all the states in India except Jammu and Kashmir which has its own act. Then we have Forest Conservation Act. It means that to check the deforestation uh, which is causing ecological imbalance and leads to the environmental deterioration, put restriction on the use of forest land for non-forest purpose, uh, provides provision of uh, uh, land area for the uh, formation of forest, exercise control over encroachment on the forest land, put restriction on uh, cutting of the trees, then provide provision for the constitution or advisory committee to advise the central government with matters related to the conservation of forest and empower the state government to declare any forest or wasteland as reserve forest. So these were some of the salient features. Public awareness can be done to make students aware about environment at all stages. Mass media can be used such as TV, newspapers, cinema, street plays and stories. Environmental orientation and training programs should be organized and NGOs can help in spreading awareness among the people. 
Next come is the Air Prevention and Control Act, passed in 1981 and amended in 1987. This act was passed by the parliament to implement the decision taken at the Stockholm Conference on Human Environment in June 1972 to prevent and control air pollution, to establish central and state boards, to provide and confirm power and functions to the central and state board to restore wholesomeness of air. In the last we have read, read about, discussed about the uh, wholesomeness of water, in this we are uh, dealing with the air. Therefore, what are the functions of the central board? To advise central government and state uh, boards for improvement in the quality of air and issues related to air pollution, to plan and supervise implementation of the nationwide programs for prevention and abatement of air pollution, to provide technical assistance and guidance to the state boards uh, for prevention and control of air pollution. Air pollution control. Then to utilize the service of mass media and educating public, to lay down the standards of air, to establish labs for sampling and analysis of air, to plan and organize training of the person in the field of air pollution, to collect samples and do the st statistical analysis relating to the air pollution. Then there are certain uh, work of the state boards uh, to advise state government related to the air pollution like we discussed for the water pollution, to plan programs for prevention and control of air pollution, to identify the industry producing air pollution, to inspect air quality from different areas from time to time and take steps to reduce air pollution, consult central boards on this issue and to collect and disseminate the information related to the cause, uh, prevention and control of air pollution. So this is all about my this topic which is known as Environmental Laws and Act. Thank you so much.